What's going on guys, Adrian here, and I'm gonna share you guys a little tip when it comes down to spooling up your reels. Um, you know, I don't know if you're like me, but I'm always trying to save money. Um, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. So here, you got a brand new reel. Well, this isn't brand new, it's been one in the box I've been using for a couple years now, but still works great. But what I'm getting at is it's got a fresh spool on it. There's literally nothing on there. So say you go to Tackle Direct and you literally buy, you know, a, a bait casting reel, spinning rod, spinning reel, whatever. The first thing I'm going to do is put backing on it. So what I'll do is I'll get like Trilene Big Game comes in a 660 spool. It's actually a really, really good mono. I throw it on my glide baits, but it also serves as a great backing because it's cheap. And I'll use 10 pound and you can see here. I'll fill, I'll fill up like a, a third to all the way up to like a half, depending on, you know, what kind of line I'm throwing. You know, of course, if I'm throwing a light braid or a light fluorocarbon, I'm going to want to back the reel up a little bit more because the diameter is smaller. Um, but if I'm throwing, you know, big line, you know, I, I don't want to have a whole lot of backing if I'm throwing 20 pound because it is going to consume a good portion of that of that spool. Uh, but don't get crazy. You know, here this is a 200 yard spool. A lot of the a lot of the spools come in 150 to 200 yards. So now, if you're talking about you know our average cast is you know 40 50 yards, if you put on close to 70 yards uh, from this spool onto your reel, you're talking about spooling three reels with one spool. And over time, that's going to save you a lot of money. If you were to just get ahead and tie this to the bottom of the spool, you're talking about it consuming probably 120 or 130 yards now all of a sudden you're only spooling up one reel and this thing costs like 15 or 20 dollars so give this a try when you get your brand new reels put a little bit of backing on them and don't get crazy with putting your you know fluorocarbon on top literally i tie an overhand knot because i'm not going to see that knot um well, if you hook a big fish, you might want to chase them on a trolling motor. But for the most part, you shouldn't see it, and it's going to save you guys some money. Give this thing a try. You can see I got a ton of rods, a ton of reels all loaded up with line. I'm constantly changing, and this is one thing that I do that helps me save on line throughout the course of the season.